A few months ago, I saw an advertisement for a new issue Municipal Bond from the state of Connecticut. It was a banner type of ad that you would see on a web page on the internet. It was very upsetting to see this official Connecticut Municipal Bond advertisement. There wasn't much to it. A few basics including the new issue name, mostly, however, it featured a big portrait type picture of Connecticut State Treasurer, Sean Wooden. The ad was from his office. It seemed less like a Connecticut Municipal Bond advertisement and more like a Sean Wooden promotion. Because of this Connecticut State Municipal Bond advertisement, Captain Municipal Bonds must call foul. Be it known, the name for this episode is thus titled, Connecticut. Shame. Featuring a politician or even having a politician in a municipal bond advertisement is at the least a big no-no, or wildly inappropriate, and at worst, it could be illegal. Have you ever seen a real advertisement for a municipal bond? Or a muni bond fund? Or any type of securities investment? There are many legalities. There are many disclosures. The disclosures for this Connecticut municipal bond advertisement would have to explain to investors that Treasurer Sean Wooden, even though he put a big picture of himself in this ad, has nothing to do with the credit worthiness of Connecticut municipal bonds. Furthermore, Sean Wooden's picture, nor Sean Wooden himself, is not personally guaranteeing your millions if not billions of dollars of interest and principal payments. Nor is Treasurer Sean Wooden pertinent to your personal or institutional or business investment goals. Also, it should be disclosed that Treasurer Sean Wooden putting a picture of himself in Connecticut municipal bond advertisements may run afoul of campaign laws, and who knows how this may come back and impact you as investors. It is upsetting that no one in the Connecticut State Treasurer's office stood up and said something. There have been good and capable people there. Perhaps there were those there who did cry foul, but were reprimanded. Perhaps there were those in the Treasurer's office, or for that matter anyone in Connecticut State Government, who noticed the error and thought Treasurer Sean Wooden was wrong, but were afraid to say anything. And what about the Securities and Exchange Commission? If you did not know, there is a special section at the SEC focused on municipal bonds. You would expect them to be on top of this, and not allow Treasurer pictures, or campaign-type stuff, to be allowed in municipal bond advertisements. But things do not work the way you would expect. At the Securities Exchange Commission there are many good and capable enforcement regulators. But this, unfortunately, does not extend to the SEC Muni Department. What a motley if not inept crew. They remind one of a bad wedding. Oh my god, more on the nincompoops at SEC Muni coming in a soon-to-be-released new episode. For now, it must be asked, how long has Treasurer Sean Wooden been putting his picture in municipal bond advertisements? Have other treasurers been doing anything similar? If things go wrong, can investors take legal action against treasurers, and even treasury department staff, because a treasurer put his picture in a municipal bond advertisement, and staff went along with it? Are they all now responsible for interest and principal payments? And culpable if something goes wrong? Perhaps it is time to call for a new rule. Let it be known as the Sean Wooden Rule. There shall be no treasurer nor other politicians' pictures, nor campaign-type pictures, in municipal bond advertisements. Would the municipal bonds industrial complex support this new Sean Wooden rule? Would the muni industry want to punish Connecticut State Treasurer Sean Wooden in some way? Probably not. Wall Street is mostly about dressing up two-bit politicians as our nation's financial leaders, so they can more easily control municipal bond issuance. And what about the National Association of State Treasurers? Nope, I guess not. Instead of perhaps explaining to Sean Wooden that putting his picture in a municipal bond advertisement is not a good idea, and laying out the reasons why, they have instead opted to name Sean Wooden the new president of their association. I kid you not. Next, they may name him king. Then emperor. Predictably, the rest of the muni industry has been dressing up Sean Wooden and his ego. From winning a Connecticut state campaign, to keynote speaker and honored guest at national public finance-focused Wall Street functions. So, here is a message to Connecticut state treasurer Sean Wooden. Whatever you have on your resume, you still have much to learn. Don't get caught up in the campaign spin machines and Wall Street hype about you being something like the best thing to happen to American public finance since Alexander Hamilton. 
Wall Street just wants you to issue more bonds. The truth is you still have much to learn in order to be both qualified and capable of leading U.S. public finance and municipal bonds. Please watch the earlier Municipal Bonds Confidential Episodes 9 and 10. You obviously will not want to hear an implorement from Captain Municipal Bonds to not be Wall Street's bitch. Therefore, it is perhaps better to nicely, but firmly, plead with you to not be a schmuck. Don't issue weird and funky municipal bonds, as well as ever bigger and larger amounts of municipal bonds. Also, implement the Sean Wooden rule. No treasurer pictures in municipal bond advertisements. I love municipal bonds. Municipal bonds are really fun. Fun, 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 fun. Municipal bonds. Municipal bonds. Come and enjoy.